Jen DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a full body dumbbell workout. So for this workout, we're going to do three different circuits. For circuit one, we're going to do three primary movements for four sets each with 30 seconds on and 20 seconds off. For circuit two, we're going to do five exercises for two sets each, 20 seconds on, 15 seconds off. And for our third circuit, we're going to do three core exercises for two sets each, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. If you like this workout, hit that like button and let's get to work. All right, we're about 30 seconds until we get started. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout. Now, our first circuit is going to be hex squats, chest press or push-ups and rows. Jenna's gonna be doing push-ups, I'm gonna be doing the chest press. So let's grab our dumbbells here. For hex squats, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have the dumbbells by our side from here, we're gonna drop into a squat, come back out. Here we go. Let's go down and then make sure to keep that back nice and straight, chest out, head up. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Come on, keep pushing. Oh, we got another. I was gonna say one more. There we go. All right, next we're going in the chest press or push up. So I'm gonna be doing chest press. I'm gonna lie on my back, put the dumbbells out to each of your sides here. From here, we're gonna curl them up and then press them, bring them together, come back down. If you wanna do push ups, you can go on your toes or your knees. Here we go. Coming up and down. There we go. Really focus on that chest, keep the core engaged. As you extend the arms, squeeze that chest at the end of the movement. There we go. All right, we're gonna stand back up. We're gonna play the musical get up, get down game today because that's how I scheduled it. Oh, we're gonna go into rows here. So, slide into the knees, bending at the hips, back stays nice and straight. We're gonna bring them up, come back down. Palms are facing the body the entire time here. Here we go, Let's come up, squeeze, and back down. There we go. Exhale as you pull up. There we go. All the way down. All the way up, come on. Here we go. All right, going back in the hex squats here. Grab some water if you need it. Make adjustments as needed. Here we go. Hex squats. There we go. Come down and up. Keep pushing. Try to drop it down a little bit lower each time. Making sure that you're keeping good form though. Back straight, weight in the heels. One more. There we go. Chest press and push ups.
Rose. Almost done with set two here. I'm starting to do a good forearm workout too. <laughs> Hold on to these things. Here we go. Keep that back nice and straight. Come on. Up, exhale. Up, exhale. There we go. Come on, keep pushing. Let's go. Woo. Here we go, halfway through. With circuit one, that is. <laughs> Going into hex squats here. If your hands start to get a little tired, what you can do on the hex squats is instead do a front squat. So now they're just sitting in your hands, drop down, come up. Keep that back nice and straight. We don't want to be like this while we're doing these. We're going to come down back straight, come right back up. There we go. It's okay if you can only go to here before form suffers. Just don't try to go down to do that. If you can only come down to here, keeping that back straight, totally fine. You probably just need to work on some flexibility. There we go. Chest pressure push up. Let's go. Now it's getting fun, huh? Oh, yeah. Starting to get a good little sweat going on. Here we go. Curl those dumbbells up. There we go. Keep pushing. Let's go, come on. One more. Going back to rows. Did you set a world record there? You were pumping those things out. Oh my god. Girl got it going on. Here we go, rows. Back nice and straight. Come on. Ooh, I have to alternate here soon. Yeah, if it starts to get too heavy, you can always alternate. Let's go. Come on, keep pushing. No matter what, don't stop. Even if you have to modify, keep modifying, but keep going. Here we go. One more. Here we go. Set three is done. Last set of the circuit coming up. Push yourself here. Five seconds. Hex squats. Let's go. Up and down. Coming up. Here we go. Keep pushing, you got this, come on. One more. There we go. Good stuff right there. Starting to make a nice little sweat. Here we go, a couple seconds till we get started. Let's go. Push it out, come on. Don't stop. Don't give up, keep pushing. Embrace the burn. Let's go one more. Here we go. Ooh. 
Woo. Rows. Couple seconds. Keep that back straight. Here we go. Up, squeeze back down. There we go. Keep going. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. All right, we got a 45 second break until we go in to circuit two. Circuit two, we're going to do alternating lat lunges. Strong high pulls, close grip press, DB swings, and clean pulls. So this is going to be a fun one. Going to get a little conditioning action in here. We're going to be doing 20 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So for lateral lunges, you can have one or two dumbbells. I like to take one dumbbell and hold it up like this. Get a nice wide stance here. We're going to go side to side. You can also hold it down below like that. Totally fine. If you do a dumbbell too heavy, don't use, just use body weight. You don't need a dumbbell. Here we go. Yeah, come down. Back up. Other side. Sorry. <laughs> Alternating lateral lunges here. I heard you, but <sighs> I didn't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you babbling, but I wasn't paying attention. I heard you talking, <laughs> but I still did what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one we're going into the short high pulls. So grab your dumbbells from here. We're gonna get that shrug, bringing the shoulders up, not the head down. Shrug, and then kick those elbows back. Pull those dumbbells up by your side. Go shrug, high pull. Good control move. Make sure you're not pulling your head down, straining the neck. You're bringing the shoulders up. There we go. Come on. There we go. All right, so you can do a close grip push up here. You can do a cobra push up or a close grip chest press. So, close grip chest press, our arms, the elbows are going to be tucked by our side, and we're going to push up like that. Elbows stay nice and close the entire time. Here we go. So, nice and close. There we go. Push it out. Even if you're doing the push up, elbows stay tucked to the body. It's going to force the triceps to perform a lot of the movement here. There we go. All right, next, we're going into a fun one. DB swings here. So, just one dumbbell here, one arm. We're going to drop down, swing it out. Just like this, the lower back stays nice and straight. Here we go. We're going to stay on the same hand, whichever hand you use, this entire round. And the next round, we'll switch. So drop it down. Explode with those hips, throw some forward, get that weight moving. Keep that back nice and straight. There we go. All right, we're going to the clean pulls. Stay with that same arm. What we're going to do here, dumbbell is going to hang. We're going to drop down with the legs, pull it up right here, come back down. Here we go. So clean pulls coming up. If you want to work more back, then just don't drop so much with the legs to generate momentum. Go more legs, drop down nice and low. Explode. Explode. Dumbbell stays close to the body. Here we go. All right, we're going back into it. Alternating lateral, uh, lateral lunges here. Round two of this. Here we go. And then down, back up, switch side. Try to speed up a little. There we go. Come on. Push it. Woo! Shrug high pulls. Now we're getting a good forearm workout. Yeah. Just holding it. 
There we go. So shrug, high pull. Shrug, high pull. Let's go. Come on, keep pushing. Here we go. Close grip press or push ups. Again, let's try to speed up on this one just a little bit. Really push it, get that heart rate up. Here we go. Elbows stay tucked. Let's go. Bam. Bam. Come on, push it out. Burn it up. Let's go. Keep pushing. Don't stop on us. There we go. Give me swings. Switching arms this time. Remember, keep that, keep that lower back nice and straight. You're hinging at the hips here. So come down, explode with the hips. There we go. Come on. Keep pushing. Here we go. Clean pulls. Let's go. Alright. Keep pushing. Let's go. Drop down. Keep that dumbbell nice and close to the body. It's not coming out here. Staying right up against the body here. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. One more. There we go. 45 second break. And then we're going in to core. So for this circuit, we have three core movements. We're going to be doing leg lifts, circle crunches, and then side plank crunch. For side plank crunch, we'll switch sides each round. So we'll do one side one round, other side the next round. So leg lifts, we're going to lay on the ground. Nice and flat here. I've got my tiny mat that doesn't fit me. So my head and butt hang off. We're going to do hands by the side here. Legs out. We're going to come up. And then get a little hip thrust in using the core to lift the hips off the ground. We're not going to use the arms and plant and get the triceps to lift us. Here we go. So come up. It's a nice controlled movement here. Exhale as you bring the legs up to really contract the core. Here we go. Make the core do the work. Here we go. Keep pushing. Here we go. Alright, next we're going to circle crunches. So just bring those feet up to the butt right here, legs bent, hands behind the head. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off to one side, come up and around to the other side, and then reverse. Here we go. So as you come up, exhale. Squeeze the core. Let's go. Give it everything you got. Let those abs catch fire. They'll keep working. Here we go. Come to the side, up and around. Reverse. There we go. Whew, that was a fun right there. So side plank crunch. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get in a side plank position here. So just like this, and then we're gonna come down, let the hip touch, bring them up. If this is too tough for you, you can do side leg lifts like this instead. Here we go. But try the side plank crunches first. It's gonna help work those shoulders too. Come up, squeeze. Feel that oblique catch fire. There we go. Alright, going back into it. Set two here. Leg lifts. 
If leg lifts are too tough, just kind of start with your feet bent and then bring them up like that instead. There we go. You can also go to a reverse crunch, which from here, you're going to bring them up like that and come back down. It's another option for you. Let's go. Come on. I got back farts going on. There <laughs> we go. Circle crunches. I need to find a mat that doesn't make farting noises every time I do abs. <laughs> I can't even hear it. <laughs> you mentioned it. It's like raise the volume. Uh, circle crunches. Dude, it's like right on my upper back. There we go. Come on. Squeeze those abs. Exhale. Keep pushing. You got this. Here we go. Side plank crunch, switching sides here. I'm sweating the butt off now. Why don't you have any sweat? I do. I have I don't see sweat. nothing. Come on, dude. Shiny. <laughs> You're just glistening over there. Right. I got a pool over here. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Come up, squeeze. Exhale as you come up. Ooh, squeeze that oblique. Ooh. Ooh. One more. Woo. There we go. We are done. Nice. That's what I'm talking about right there. Before you realize you hate it, you're done. I know, right? I like it. Ooh. Good stuff right there. Good job. Way to push it. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Way to push it. If you did like this video, smash that like button. Boom! And we'll see you on the next one. See you guys.